In this video, let's talk about how to fade out in Logic Pro X, today also known as Logic Pro. So subscribe to this channel if you want um, any Logic help, music production help. I often find myself doing a lot of these videos. So here we have a little track here. <laughs> So the first way to fade out tracks is um, you fade out one, a region on a track. So these are regions, right? We have a region here, a region here, and this blue region. So if we just want to fade out like the end of this region, so we're soloing this track and from bar 17, we kind of want it to fade out into the distance. See how it ends very harshly? So the first way to, to fade out tracks is to doing it with your fade tool. So I have my fade tool right in my command tool. So I can hold command and just click over this and like make a little box and I've just faded. Now I can like edit this fade. I can go all the way over here. I can bring it back and make it a really short fade. So that would sound like this now. And it fades out nicely. So that's the first way I do it. I usually have my fade tool in the command tool when I'm editing. So I can just quickly do those fades. And you can see here, I can edit it as a curve. If I kind of, I'm clicking, I'm holding command and clicking my mouse, I can edit it like this. Yeah, you know, you can edit the fade how you want it to fade out. A curve will sound more like this. Or kind of like scoops down instead of gradually goes. And then you can have it the opposite effect where it's like this where it kind of scoops over top, I guess. I don't, that doesn't really make sense, but I, I typically don't do curves. I do just, you know, straight fades, fades out like this. So that's the first way. Um, the second way is if you don't want to use the fade tool at all, let's just take that fade off completely. You can just um, highlight the region and hover over the top. Let's do it to the base. Hover over the top of, of the region and you're gonna have that little, this little icon come up. You can just click that and drag to the left. Um, that, I sh that should be a default setting for you. If it's not, go up to, let's see, um, preferences. Let's try, I think it's under editing. Editing, so general editing. And then um, you see trackpad pointer tool in tracks provides fade tool click zones. You can have it do different things, marquee tool click zones, quick swipe, quick swipe and take editing click zones. So I have it on, see if you take this off, go over here and you know, hover to the top of this guitar track here. I'm not gonna have that editing thing anymore. So I need to go back to my settings. You can go command comma, put that on, go to the top right and now I can fade and I can edit the fade like that. Okay, so that's the second way to do the fade. If you want to edit any of these fades, the information for this fade is over in the region editor. So click on this guitar, go to the region editor here, and this is where the fade lives, you can think of. See, fade out, fade in. So if we wanna delete a fade, we can also do it from here, and we can also add it here. So if I go zero, you can see, it disappears. If I type in a fade out of 1000, you can see how big that fade out is. Let's go fade out of, you know, 10,000. That's a big fade. It's almost the entire region. Actually, pretty much is the entire region. You would never really do that, but you might do this. You might just press one because that's going to just apply a little bit of a fade. You don't want to ruin any of the, the, the signal, but you want to have it, you don't want to have it pop. Let's say um, it might not pop anyways, but it's just kind of a, a safe bet. And you can have the curve being zero. You can also have it fade in to one if you want. And that fade at the beginning is gonna be really, really low. See, it's not even touching the signal. You can, there it is, if you really zoom in. Here you can also adjust the fade here, the curve of the fade in, you know, five. Now you can also click and drag up, click and drag down to, to change the curve. Same thing with any of these boxes in the region. You can click and drag, click and drag up. See, I'm creating a fade, I'll zoom out click and drag up. 
I'm creating that fade. I don't want any curves, so I can click and drag that down. So my workflow, if I don't have the command tool, I'll just quickly maybe come over here. If I want a quick fade, you know, let's just say fade one, and, and fade one at the end. So I'm using region editor tool and, and, you know, hovering over the top right. So that's how to fade out in logic. So here's a quick example of how to do this in a workflow. So let's say I want to chop this region so it drops off before the chorus here. <laughs> So I make a cut, I can right click and make a cut because I have a scissors in my right click tool. So I'm going to delete this part of the region. Now I want to have uh, these both fade out and fade in so there's no pops. So I'll go over here, I can do it any way we just learned, click and drag to the right, command, or if I, in this case, I just want a really small fade. So I'm going to go over here, press one, fade in, I'm going to go over here, press one, fade out. And now we have. no pops and it's it's perfectly clean. Now let's say you want to cross fade. So that's that's everything about how to fade out in Logic Pro. Let's say you have uh, two regions here and you want to try you want to cross fade them. What you can do is actually and what I su suggest is have this drag feature be over and have it x fade which is cross fade which means when you drag a region over another region like this it's going to automatically create a crossfade for you. As you, can, you can see this region is over top, and when I click this region, that's underneath. So you can, you know, shorten the fade if you just want to have a crossfade just at the end of these. Now you know that these regions are glued together with, with a crossfade. You can also create the crossfade with doing the same thing that how we did any of these fades here. That's really what you need to know about um, how to fade, how to crossfade in logic with your regions and an example of how to do it in a workflow. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Let me know if you have any questions about logic in the comments.